With more than 30 years experience as a veterinarian, our pet expert Marty Becker is always looking to help people and their furry friends live a full and happy life. We asked Marty to share his favorite products of the past year and he joins us now. As always, welcome Marty. Thanks for being here. Thank you. We also want to welcome our furry little friends, Jewel, little uh, adorable kitten, and we also have Snoopy. They're both here courtesy of the New York Humane Society looking for good homes, right? Aren't they sweet? They're adorable. They're absolutely yeah, adorable. Yeah, a little kitten and then a 10-year-old dog. You know, parents died, uh, oh. so needs a new home. All right. Well, you've yeah. got some great products, and you pulled more than 100 people to come up with this list. Let's go to the first one, and these um, can help with cancer. Well, here's the neat thing about them. There, there's two different products. There's Palladia from Pfizer, and there's uh, Massivet, which is from a, a company, AB Sciences in mm -hmm. France. But they're used for treating cancer, and it's a different way. They actually starve the cancer cells of their <laughs> blood supply. Apply. I kind of liken it to a cancer cells being up a tree and there's these hounds baying, keeping them up the tree. That's kind of the way it works. Uh -huh. uh, it also works on, it's made for mast cell tumors, but they're finding it works with other kinds of cancers as well. And also it enhances other cancer therapies. So this is a whole new frontier for cancer treatment. Uh, for example, Palladia is available for specialty hospitals now, but it'll be available to all veterinarians in the year 2010. So wow. something on the very cutting edge. Big advancement. Yeah. The next one, if you've ever tried to give a pill to your dog or cat, you know how hard it is and this next one is not new but all, out of all the people you pulled the majority insisted you put it back on the list um, unbelievable that there, there's still the number one product that was recommended was convenia and convenia is for convenience we have a saying in veterinary medicine that life happens but doses don't so well-intentioned people leave with the medication they're unable to give it so the right. medication ends up in the cupboard and not in the pet convenia you give one shot the veterinarian does it lasts two weeks that's amazing so no more pilling the cat dragging out from under the bed chasing the dog around the house or trying to hide it in something <laughs> so really happy with that product now the next thing is uh, treating a wound for your dog or your cat can also be really hard what's older in medicine in human medicine and veterinary medicine than treating a wound so whether it's a scratch a bite uh, um, you know an open abrasion or something uh, what the stuff when Centrex does there's a little spray right here you spray this on a wound it heals 50 percent faster and there's less scarring there's also eye drops for eye injury again tremendously faster healing and less scarring the scarring is important if it's around an eye right. or around a place where you don't want scars to squeeze and we always see those lampshades around dogs and stuff when they've yes. got a wound yeah. so does this help yeah and what's good about this too is you don't even have to put a bandage on you can just spray the stuff on the wound it doesn't require a bandage but uh, very cutting edge it's brand new technology. It's it's biocompatible. It's like a, it's like a scaffolding that the cells build upon. All right. Let's talk about yeah. another one, which helps with feline AIDS. And how common is this? Now you think of feline AIDS. There's there's uh, there's feline immunodeficiency virus FIV. Uh -huh. There's FELV, feline leukemia virus. This actually works for both of those. And so what happens in those? They both affect the immune system. So they increase the chance of getting cancer, other kinds of infection. Just like people mm -hmm. with AIDS often die of other infections. Uh, it has kind of a crazy name. This lymphocyte. Uh, lymphocyte Lymphocyte T cell immunomodulator. This is a new USDA approved product. A lot of veterans just call it the, the, the leukemia treatment. Uh -huh. But you just give an injection to an animal, a subcutaneous injection to a cat, uh, you know, once a week for a few weeks and then every six months and then once a year, but finally have something that actually works to remove those diseased cells That's great. and stimulates the cat's own immune system so that leukemia and FIV aren't a death sentence. All right, let's talk about this next one because I think a lot of people are guilty of this. And yeah. over the holidays, a lot of people are giving yeah. part of their. Uh, holiday feast to their yeah. dog or cat and that doesn't really work out. You did your preparation <laughs> because one of the things that'll happen is giving fatty treats off the holiday table. That's one of the most common causes you'll uh. see. Either you'll end up on your hands cleaning up a mess or you'll end up in a veterinary emergency clinic. Also dogs or cats that raid the litter box or litter box, the garbage can and right. get into something they shouldn't have. But this test from IDEX is really good because pets will come in with vomiting, diarrhea, a, an ouchy abdomen uh -huh. and you don't know whether it's pancreatitis which is really serious or something that's more benign. This little test in the hospital now, you can run this in 10 minutes, you can find out. It tests for pancreatic right. amylase and know if they have a pancreatitis. All right, you got to skip ahead of the next one. It's, it's just kind of disgusting. If your dog raids the litter box, what do you do? Well, in veterinary medicine, we call that if they want to eat their own dew, another doggy's dew, or go to the litter box, we call that having a crappetizer. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. And yeah. that gives a whole new meaning to doggy <laughs> breath. But for a dog, it's actually undigested protein. Uh -huh. So that's the same reason I get a dirty diaper, garbage can contest. For us, it's just sickening, especially since okay. we sleep with our pets. So but we the, use this. The Copra Band is actually in a roast beef flavor. Uh -huh. You just give it to your dog, and it puts something in the feces so it discourages them from eating that feces. Or All you right. give it to the cat, then the dog wasn't going to lay the litter box. But they'll leave the thing right out of your hands. Okay. 
so. Okay. Let's move to the next one. I yeah. want to get through all of them. This next one helps with like their mental health. It's for when you're feeding them dinner. Oh, I love this product. Like a, a puzzle. We have a pug at home, and this thing is like Einstein. <laughs> and what this thing does, you put little treats inside of here, and so the dog has to spin this level right here. And you notice it doesn't want to move here, right. so the dog has to pull these out and gets more food, and each time it goes down to a different level. But really good for me mental stimulation so okay. they're not so bored. All right, and then if your t dog is outside, they can get a tick very easily, but it's really hard to get that yeah. tick off. Well, two things here real quick. This is a combination Frisbee that can also be used as a food bowl or water bowl. Uh -huh. I tried this at home. The dogs love this thing, and it flies far. Ticks. Ticks even creep veterinarians out, okay? <laughs> so if you have an engorged tick, all you do with this is you take the tick and put it into the round part of this hole. Okay. And just slide it right across the skin and the leverage. It pulls the tick out and the mouth parts, the whole body. You don't squeeze and get that. Right. And you can use alcohol to clean it up. Yes. All right. Sounds great. For more of the best vet and pet products of 2009, be sure to check out the new pet section of the GMA page at abcnews.com. And remember, there are lots of pets out there that need homes, so adopt from the Humane Society of New York. I know Snoopy and Jewel will thank you.